Mr. Byron, Another Land Ops Adventure. We're going to have fun today. What we're doing with Land Ops today is we're demonstrating high speed multimedia mesh. Mesh networking is routers reprogrammed under the ham band plan. Mesh network is a way of kind of creating a local network when we're out in the middle of the desert or up in the mountains uh, just between ourselves. It's a bunch of routers that have been reconfigured with firmware that talk to each other through antennas. And these antennas are uh, not the antennas you find on your Wi-Fi router, but a little bit bigger antennas. You're establishing a network, and the network doesn't do anything by itself. You have to have applications. We can send video, email, uh, and we're even working with uh, uh, VOIP phones. I have one of my uh, voice over IP uh, video phone go kits. So there's the, the mesh node. This converts the touchtone phone to a uh, voice over IP phone. So you can use a old time phone to make a phone call. And then we can uh, you know, pick up this phone. I've got dial tone. We advertise our IP address because you can call that way. Mesh networking brings communications where there is no internet or cell service available. As we will see in upcoming episodes, a mesh network has emergency communication and search and rescue applications. Anything you would normally do over a network with the average person would think of, well I do this with my internet, they think internet. Um, you can do any of those things over a mesh network and it's completely off the grid. Completely off, completely off the grid. like a cat. Touch, every time we touch something, it breaks. Okay, did, and then we fix it and then something else breaks. Did anybody write down this IP? Yeah, let's click on the add there so it'll reserve the IP address. Mm -hmm. And we put in straight Wi-Fi. Uh, mm -hmm. We flash Greg's um, <laughs> HPR router and put it in a straight Wi-Fi. So when you pull up, you can connect to it with your phone, and then you can then just put in um, local mode 8080, and then you're connected to everything. So right from your phone, with your browser on your phone, you can connect <coughs> to this system here. Awesome. See if you can. And then there'll be an IP phone sitting at the base of this. So hopefully we we can work in. Can you make that ring? Yes. Right now? Yeah. Oh, can you make the phone ring? He's trying it right now. Oh. Dialing it right now. So he's got an app. It, it'll take a day and a half. But he, he's got it didn't work a while ago. K6GHL. So Why'd you make me wait for, for the second ring? K6GBM. Hey, it worked. Oh, these are huge! I know! You go a long way! A variety of amateur radio applications are being used during this off-road navigation and teamwork exercise. Go ahead with the IP. Three search teams, a special comms detail, and one net control station are most certainly off the grid as they navigate a progressive course of hidden instruction caches. Bravo team, we need to come back to the vehicles, please. Okay, we have a latitude uh, 36.21704. All right, welcome to Land Ops Navigation Communication on the Radio 5. 
If you are new to Land Ops, we welcome you and hope you have an opportunity to gain knowledge, practice, and skills while getting out into the beautiful scenery here. And the Land Ops exercises that we choreograph involve practicing with skills that can be applied to real life situations where teamwork, coordination, and clear communications are necessary. Clear communications, that's what this exercise is all about. Perhaps easier said than done, today's operation proves the need for more accuracy. I heard something went wrong. Yeah, the game was just flat out the wrong coordinates. We're walking all around. We got, and we double checked. Look at this. And then it's like our first one, we're searching too long. We, we double checked. And then we double checked, then we double checked again. Yeah. And then it was wrong. Then Chris came on and he said, you guys aren't giving them the right coordinates. Oh, I heard that part. So over and over and over. And then once we got it, it was a cakewalk. Good thing we found it quick. <laughs> what? We're going down the whole program. Good thing we found it quick. Yeah. We got coordinates for everybody for their next spot. You're an alpha team? So what, what teams do we have here? We have alpha. And we're special comms. And just alpha. Yeah, alpha and special comms. That's it. Oh, oh, we found good. coordinates for Charlie and Ramo team. Yeah, you gotta look what at the, you just confirm. Uh, Alpha team, can you repeat that please? It's a little harder. Confirm we are at your nine o'clock to the brown Jeep. Yeah, I, we see you, we're just trying to direct a uh, mirror towards you. Short, three long. Just three short ones. Yeah. Three short. Done.